here we are going to see uh, 82 problem in page number 3.126 okay uh, we are going to do the problem in fifo method please thoroughly read the question pause the video and thoroughly read the question start doing the problem in the method of fifo what is fifo first in first out whatever the materials we have got we have received the earliest date that uh, on the date basis that will be given out okay so that is uh, this depends upon the price fluctuations of the material okay so if the price is getting increased and the demand is getting increased those materials will be stocked for the further increase of such materials okay once it reaches the desired price then it will be given to the uh, production purpose so they will wait for the uh, increase in price so such materials will be stocked and that will be released for the purpose of price increasing and to get the maximize profit now we will see the problem in such a method first in first out so here as usual uh, the columns have been drawn out date particulars receipts consists of quantity in units rate per unit amount in rupees issue second column consists of quantity in units rate per unit amount in value then the remaining balance quantity in units rate per unit and amount in value the first transaction starts from january 1st this problem doesn't carry opening balance so we'll start with the transactions so what is this goods received note number what is this goods received note number the material which we have received okay from our supplier that will be recorded in the separate ledger so that bill number will be recorded here in the stores uh, ledger so that is 300 units uh, 3 per unit and the amount value is 900 rupees and that is given in the balance then fourth as on january 4th again there is a purchase made goods received note number it is that is amounts to 600 units 400 rupees per unit the value 2400 rupees and again i didn't mingled any of these transaction i am just keeping everything separately the previous transaction 300 units 3 rupees per unit and the 900 rupees and the second transaction i am just recording it here separately 600 units 4 rupees 2400 rupees value then coming to that's on sixth the transaction is relating to issues that is the materials is being issued to the Uh, production purpose okay so how much they have demanded 500 units how the stores uh, manager is going to issue such materials to the production purpose through by first in first out method so whatever we have received in the earliest transaction that should be sent out so the total amount to be issued is we have a 500 units i am taking 300 units from the first earliest transaction 300 units 3 rupees per unit and 900 rupees and the remaining 200 units i am taking from the second transaction 200 units 4 rupees per unit and 200 into 400 800 units and thus the stores manager issues 500 units to the production department through by first in first out the remaining balance is uh the first one is have been sent out the remaining is 400 units since we have issued 200 units from the 600 the balance is 400 units 4 rupees per unit 1600 then 10th again there is a purchase 700 units have been made at the rate of rupees 4 2800 then the uh, previous transaction is 400 for 4 rupees 4 per unit 1600 again the latest transaction is being recorded here 700 units 4 rupees 
2800 don't mingle any things or any of this transactions okay keep it everything separately so that you can issue according to the method given in the question then 15th as on 15th there is an issue uh, issue amounts to 800 units since it is a first in first out method i am taking the earliest transaction of 400 units 4 rupees per unit 1600 and the remaining 400 units i am taking from the latest one from 700 i am taking 400 units uh, at the rate of rupees 4 and 1600 400 into 4 1600 Seven hundred have been uh, out of seven hundred, four hundred have been issued, and the remaining three hundred balance is recorded here. Three hundred units, four rupees per unit, thousand two hundred. And then the twentieth, as on twentieth, again there is a uh, purchase that is three hundred units, five rupees per unit, and thousand five hundred rupees value. And just I am keeping, I am I am just keep recording. Everything separately. The previous one three hundred into four thousand two hundred, and the current one three hundred units five rupees and thousand five hundred rupees value. Then the last transaction is on January twenty third. That is an again an issue. Uh, issue. I am just uh, issues amounts to rupee. I am uh, amounts to hundred units. I am just taking hundred units. From the earliest one, from three hundred, I am taking hundred is hundred units at the rate of four, and the remaining balances thousand uh, two hundred minus four hundred eight hundred eight hundred rupees value. From three hundred, I am issuing hundred units. The remaining balances two hundred units four rupees per unit, and the remaining amount is eight hundred. And the rem uh, the latest one, the previous trans uh, the previous purchase we have made that is also entered here three hundred units five. And thousand five hundred rupees value. So the stock closing stock value as on the January thirty first through by first in first out method amounts to five hundred units at the value of rupees two thousand three hundred. Thank you.